Κυρίε και κύριοι, ε, στα πλαίσια των ενημερωτικών δράσεων του Συλλόγου Ασθενών με Μικρανία και Κεφαλαλγία Ελλάδο, έχουμε την καρά και την τιμή να έχουμε μαζί μα τον καθηγητή Άλαν Ράποπορτ. Ο Άλαν Ράποπορτ είναι καθηγητή νευρολογία στο Πανεπιστήμιο UCLA στι ΗΠΑ, στην Καλιφόρνια. Είναι πρώην πρόεδρο τη Διεθνού Εταιρεία Κεφαλαλγία, δηλαδή του πιο σημαντικού επιστημονικού οργάνου που αφορά τι κεφαλαλγίε διεθνώ. Και είναι ένα άνθρωπο που έχει αφιερώσει πάρα πολλά χρόνια στην έρευνα και τη μελέτη τη ημικρανία και των άλλων κεφαλαλιών. Έχει γράψει εκατοντάδε επιστημονικά άρθρα, αλλά και πολλά βιβλία πάνω στο θέμα. Dr. Rappaport, thank you for being here with us. On behalf of the Greek Society of Migraine and Headache Patients, I want to welcome you and really thank you. We do appreciate that you will share your knowledge on migraine with us. Kalimera. And uh, thank you for inviting me. I always like to talk about headache, especially to people that have headaches, to make them more informed. That's important, and that's why you are here to discuss. So, let's start with migraine. Migraine is considered to be the most important headache type. So many people suffer from migraine. But there are also people that are not sure, do I have migraines? So, before going to a physician, how can a person tell if a headaches are migraines or not? The easy way is if you have a bad headache a few times a month and the next day or two days later you're fine and with that headache you have some trouble functioning, maybe a little nausea or feel like you're going to throw up and maybe also sensitivity to light, there's probably nothing else that it can be. But to be a little more specific, the average person with migraine will have one to three attacks a month. Some people one a year, some people three a week, but the average is about one to three in a month and the attack usually has a lot of pain associated with it and the pain is usually severe and it's often one-sided and it's more in the front of the head than the back of the head so it's in the temple or over the eye or in the eye or behind the eye but it could be on both sides of the head in a small number of people and the type of pain it is, it's a throbbing, pounding pain, almost like to the beat of your heart. But it could be steady. And sometimes when I ask that question, people say, sometimes it's steady, sometimes it's pounding. And it's associated with some other symptoms. Most people with migraine have nausea. Most people have sensitivity to light. Some have sensitivity to sound. Some have sensitivity to smell. So people, when they get a migraine attack, like to lie in a dark room without any noise, no smells, no activity, no sound. We call that hibernation. Um, that's pretty much what migraine is, but also it causes a lot of disability. People can't function well during a migraine attack unless they get really good medication or other treatments. And so if they're working, they miss days at work and they don't get promoted as much as they should. If it's a mother at home with three children, she might have trouble taking care of those kids and need help to come in. Migraine also makes people feel funny they get nervous about telling people about their migraine because you can't see anything wrong with a migraine patient. They say they're in severe pain, but it doesn't look bad unless they're throwing up and lying down in bed. And so people are ashamed a little bit of their migraine and they don't like to talk about it so much. Uh, that's pretty much what a migraine attack is. I may have left a few things out, but why is that different from any other kind of headache? So let me briefly mention what we call tension type headache. That's not a good term because at least in my language, tension means it could be psychological or stress. 
and it could be psychological. It could be that you're under a lot of stress, but we don't really know what causes tension type headache. It's sort of the opposite of a migraine. The pain is steady. It's on both sides of the head. It's usually in the forehead or across the eyes or in the front, sometimes the back. It doesn't usually throb. There's not usually nausea. It's usually a milder pain. And I forgot to mention with migraine, people don't like to move because the slightest movement can make the pain worse. But in tension type headache, Sometimes moving is a good thing. Going out for a walk, going for a swim. The pain can go away. The or... pain can go away just by relaxing and doing some other things or taking some simple type of medication sometimes is helpful. Whereas migraine, you often need a special kind of medication to, to make it better. So that's tension type headache. And migraine occurs in about 12% of most populations. That's a lot of people. Tension type headache is way more than that. It's very controversial how much. I would say it's 80% of the population has some kind of headache during the course of a year. And sometimes it's a few times a week and sometimes even more. So, you think clinically uh, migraine has certain specific features the ones you described and based on this we can say that most likely a person might have migraine so this could be the the clinical picture that's true and actually when you go to a doctor and and you say well i have these headaches tell me what's wrong with me and give me the right treatment There's no specific test that proves that it's migraine. There's no scan that proves it. There's no blood test that proves it. So the doctor really makes the diagnosis on the basis of these symptoms I've been talking about. And there are a certain number of symptoms that you have to qualify for to be able to be diagnosed as migraine. And so um, it's just a way of describing to the doctor what's wrong and the doctor would ask some specific questions and make the diagnosis on the basis of what you tell them. Okay, so thank you for this information and we'll continue with migraine diagnosis in our next video. Okay.